Hey everybody, this is Pastor Keith inviting you to join us for worship this Sunday, the second Sunday in Lent at Upper Dublin Lutheran Church. I'll be preaching this Sunday on a couple, it's strange to say, strange texts from the Bible. Um, the first one is from Genesis 15 where God is making this covenant with Abraham and saying I'll give you as uh, many descendants as stars in the skies and I promise this land to you. And then there's a covenant that gets made where Abraham gets a ram and a heifer and a goat and a turtle dove and a pigeon and he chops them in half and he puts them in two lines and God makes this covenant with Abraham. And then in our gospel lesson, we have even more animals. Jesus is talking about uh, his lament over Jerusalem and saying how he would like to be like a mother hen that uh, gathers in his chicks. Uh, strange readings and uh, the kind of readings that if you were reading on your own, you'd probably glance right over and say, that's a little weird for my taste and move right along. And as a preacher, I'd have to be right there with you. So if it weren't appointed in the lectionary, I probably wouldn't be preaching it myself. But these weird texts, these awkward texts, reminded me of uh, a lesson I learned from my New Testament professor at Harvard Divinity School. I was taking New Testament early on in my studies there. And he said that it's important to pay attention to the hard and the difficult and the weird and the awkward texts in the Bible because there's a reason that they're there and there's a good reason that they're there. He said otherwise somebody would have come along and you know edit it a little bit and make it flow a little more or make it a little more palatable and less awkward, less difficult to translate. So he would say that you have to pay attention to those hard points, those weird moments in the Bible because they're there for a real purpose. And so if we linger with them and we stick with them with that purpose and we try to unlock them, there's a lot more going on there than we can imagine. There are a lot of texts in the Bible that are so much easier and more fun to preach on, the feeding of the 5,000, Jesus healing and teaching, stories of Noah and books uh, from the book of Genesis. Um, but uh, the harder ones are the ones that often yield the most fruit and the most understanding. And so I invite you to join me this Sunday as we unlock these together. And I invite you to think about that lesson in your own life. You know, often in our own lives, there are these hard and awkward places always. We all have them. And our instinct is to skim over them, run away from them, avoid them, ignore them, and they persistently, you know, follow after us. But the wisdom of my New Testament professor is good, not just for interpreting the Bible, but in our lives as well. We pay attention to the hard moments, the awkward moments, the strange moments. They're there for a reason too, in addition to all the good and wonderful moments in our lives. And if we can sit with them and linger with them and trust that God has something to give out of those, that those too can bear fruit in our lives, I wonder if we could reframe the ways that we think about those things, uh, things we've been carrying for a long, long time in our lives or difficult situations that we're going through right now, to be able to stick with it and stick through it and know that it too will yield wisdom and grace. So I hope to see you this Sunday, second Sunday in Lent at Upper Dublin. Uh, and until then, God be with you.